Well, tonight's event is Worthing Portrait Artist of the Year. It's our main fundraiser for the year. It's the second one we've held. It's at St Paul's Centre in Worthing, which is run by a charitable trust for a fantastic Grade 2 star listed building. Okay, I've got to go and check in. To yes. get It's a community-run venue and this event is all about the community. It's encouraging artists to step out of their comfort zone and paint live in front of the public. Artist of the Year. Hurrah! Um, I'm Hazel Imbert from Here and Now magazine and I'm also on the team that run the uh, Worthing Artists Open Houses and I'm delighted to be your MC for the evening. Well the sitters have to make sure they arrive on time. Tonight we have Caroline Nichols who has been the High Sheriff of West Sussex until today. It's her last day in office. We have Simon Fanshaw OBE, who's a radio and television broadcaster. And we have David Henty, the notorious art forger. And, uh, comments? They have to sit as still as they possibly can over the period of time they're being painted, but we do give them a five minute break, and then we have a, a half hour break halfway through, so they get some respite. So already, it's helpful. If I look at that window up there, is that quite right? Yeah, that's right. Yeah. Whatever, whatever you feel comfortable with. The first one was held on the 23rd of March last year, and it was an idea we came up with based on my experience of the BP Portrait Awards at the National Portrait Gallery. Myself and a group of ladies have been working for the last six months in putting it all together, arranging the sitters that we have. I think the public come because a lot of them are budding artists and don't have the confidence to do anything themselves. They enjoy being able to come in and see people draw and paint right in front of them and they enjoy seeing the image develop and the likeness coming to you. The artists all submitted work in January and we had a selection committee that selected them blind. So we've ended up with the 12 we've got tonight. The evening is due to finish at um, around 9.30. The sitters are then invited to review all the portraits that have been painted and they can select their favourite. And then the judging takes place. And the top three are put on the easels on the stage so everybody can see who they are. And then we run through the prize giving. On the evening itself, they can use a different medium to their submission. They can use whatever they like. Um, the paintings are stored away over the weekend, and then they're sent down to Subway EPS 
for quality copying and then on the Tuesday we'll be exhibiting them in St Paul's. The evening has been funded by sponsors that have helped us out with all the publicity and the printing, which is Subway EPS. We've been sponsored with prizes, Faith Through Action donating the £500 winner's prize, Sea White of Brighton donating the two runners-up prizes, and Cellar Arts Club donating annual memberships. If anybody wants to enter into it, um, we launch a call for entries with an explanation of how to go about submitting their entry and we have a deadline for it which is normally January and once we have all the submissions in we choose those and select the final 12. I quite like the, the charcoal ones the, and the pastels. Um, they tend to come to the fore much quicker than the painting. Well, everybody should give it a go. Anybody can enter. Um, they have to be over 18 though. They can be painting, drawing, sketching, any medium. You just need to be confident and go for it and you just don't know what it's, what's going to happen. So may I like to invite the artists to lay down their brushes and I would like everyone here to give our three sitters David, Simon and Caroline, a huge round of applause. <laughs> Portrait Artist of the Year is Mark Oliver. Woo! And the two runners up. First runner up, Richard Bishop. Wendy Barrett.